Yeah, this is a nice little cute puff, ain't it? Puff, meet YouTubers. YouTubers, meet Puff. So I am on my way to school and I just decided to say good morning, what's up, uh, while I was getting myself ready for school. So right now I'm just taking my spray water and I'm just spraying water out of my hair. And by the way, how are y'all doing this morning? Comment below, let me know how you're doing. Now I'm going to take some texture ID, um, moisturizer, and leave-in. And you can use this as a leave-in or you can use this as a moisturizer. Take you a detaining comb or a detaining brush and just going to start to comb and detangle your hair. Now you should have much if you wet your hair pretty good with the water and the moisturizer, then it shouldn't be that hard to detangle. And remember you want to start from your ends and work your way up to your roots. You don't want to start from your roots and then try to pull it down. This that's not gonna work. It's gonna you're just gonna be pulling your hair, pulling your hair. So start for years. And then work your way up. And then it should be and if you come to an area where where it's hard to comb, comb that little part out before you just try to comb through it. Don't try to comb through it. Get the middle of your hair. Now the middle of my hair is always be the toughest part to try to deal with. Like no matter how much moisturizer and spray I try to put in it, it just seems like it just suck, sucks it up and it just not really moisturized like that. So I end up kind of re-moisturizing my hair in that middle part. But like I have to put extra in that middle part. I don't know if y'all really pull it like that. But mine is. Now you can use a bigger comb than this. But this is a good detainment comb. It's not that big either. But it does good. It's like a detainment comb. Plus when you want to do your part in. Which y'all don't see me use this comb before. So. But this is a good comb. You know. I always have to be like the big huge wide to comb. If if it's a detangling comb, big or small, you can use it. Whatever works best for you. And this works pretty good. So but sometimes I do part of these sections to actually kind of detangle, especially this middle part, y'all. Cause like I said, this middle part would be like <laughs> the toughest part to try to deal with. But if you do have that problem, just um, like it might even be your middle part, it might be another part, another area in of your hair. But if you have that part, just add extra moisturizer if you need to. Just the you know, it can be moisturizer easy to single. So I think I'm done 
But to give it a quick check, I'm just going to go all over my hair and just comb, comb, comb. And just see if I can easily run the comb through. And that's how I know that uh, I got all my hair detangled real good. Okay y'all, so I think I'm done and taking my hair really good. Just doing a quick double check. But I think I'm good at y'all. I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Alrighty. Okay, so when you do a real good detangling on your hair, you're going to have some hair in your comb. And this is about how much hair. And this is because I did a real good detangling. Plus, if you had like maybe a certain curl pattern style that you had in your hair, like maybe some Van Two Nights, maybe some Twister House or Rose Hair, whatever you had, and you've been rocking that for a week or so, and you haven't been combing, you know, to your ends or your hair because you want your curl pattern to still you know, last and you know, so when you just now decide, well, let me just comb through, then yeah, you're going to have, you know, you won't have a whole lot, a lot of hair, about that much where I just, you know, show it y'all, y'all. Okay, so we're going to be wearing that puff today. So, I'm going to take some of my She's Bomb. Y'all already know what time it is. Don't even play. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to put a little bit on the background here, just to help hold it up good. Alright, and I'm going to take my brush and brush it up. Take a little bit more, add around on my front hairline, and maybe around my side, like right here. I'm just going to add it up. Take your brush again and brush the front of your hair going up. Now you can wear your puff high, you can wear your puff low, maybe going in the middle to the side, however you want to wear your puff, baby. You can wear it. So you're going to take your hair towel, you can take like a hair band or something. I'm just going to put it around my hair like this. Then we're going to tie it. What you're going to do is uh, how far, how, like how high or how low you want. Your puff, that's how you're going to have this. Like, you can control this, okay? Even if you use, like, a headband, rubber band, or whatever, you can control how you want it. If you want it much high, which I like to wear my puff high, so if you want it high, then you're going to bring it back up and raise it up higher. How high you want it, that's how you're going to do it. So I say about right here, y'all. I think that's good enough. Make sure your hair is good and tight and neat. So you just pull your hair a little bit. 
Okay, so um, take your front part, and you can slide the front part a little for back too, however you want it. But and then you can pull it how like if you gonna do it like this, where you got like a hair tie that you actually cut and kind of made yourself, then you can pull it how you want it. So if you want like a big puff, little puff. So I'm just going to retie it again, right here. And make sure you don't want to have it too tight, y'all. So I have retied it. Now I'm going to take my bobby pin to secure. Okay, and these little end pieces are here. You can take it in. Just push it underneath the headband. Alright, and there you have it. So there you go my little puff, y'all. Alright. And you can take your pick and pick your puff out too. Which we'll do that a little later. But there you go, y'all. Good morning to y'all. Okay, y'all. So this is a little neat puff. It comes out so neat when you detangle your hair good and make sure it's well moisturized. Like, <laughs> I don't even have to say it, y'all. I go to different stores and like different places and stuff. And you see these women that. And these, you know, they supposed to be going natural, but they puffs are looking like, what? You know, like, who told you to go natural? I mean, because they don't take out time. To me, it don't seem like they take out time to actually moisturize their hair like they're supposed to fully come through it. I know that, you know, natural, having natural hair, being natural, it's not easy because your hair get tangled up, stuff like that. But if you take out time to comb, and that didn't even take that long for me to actually comb through it and get it undetangled. If you got the right kind of moisturizer that work for your hair, then it should be easy to detangle. Up. Like I said, just said about my middle part, it be seeing like it's not a no moisturizer. Add how much moisturizer you have, then you know how much your hair needs. So add much moisturizer, nourishing to your hair that it needs, and you should have no problem with it, y'all. Stop going out with just sticking a headband up on your head, pushing your hair back, and your hair looking a hot mess. I'm, I'm, I just got said a hot mess. It's like you need comb through. It's like you ain't need nothing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I'm talking to. Let's get finished with this puff, y'all. Yeah. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. It's with your like slick, little cute swoop swoop design with it, y'all. Yeah. I don't need them. I'll just go ahead and leave it more where I'm going Headline. Not that much. I told you I'm not a big makeup fan, and I really ain't. Wipe away any unnecessary makeup. 
I wipe away any unnecessary eyeshadow that I don't want. Take it and just wipe it like I put my hand, fingertip in, and just wipe it. And it comes like right off y'all. So, see, this is what I also use when I remove it and everything. Like before I go to bed, I just come in the bathroom and just wipe it off. I want y'all to try to look at y'all and in my mirror at the same time to make sure I got it good. Just the way I want it. Now I'm gonna add my um mascara. Okay. So whatever you do, keep on moving on. Cause you're coming out and you're coming out strong. I don't do no That's it. That's basically what I do when I want to add a little bit of just a little touching up to my face. I don't get crazy in hair with my makeup. But y'all don't see me did this little eye before, so it ain't nothing like you know nothing different than what you know what you have seen me do on some of my other videos when I feel like I want to put on eyeshadow and mascara or something else. Okay, y'all, so right now I'm just going to pick my hair just to make my puff bigger than what it is. Alright y'all, so that's going to do it for this video. I thank y'all for watching me get ready for class again. Alright y'all, so I will see y'all later. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Hope y'all have a blessed day. My soul for sale, going by the shadow of death. Left police, going by the shadow of death. Got stabbed in my heart with the arrow of death. Now I'm bleeding out my body, bone marrow and flesh. Emergency room, my soul in the battle with death. I cried out to God, Jesus in the battle to rest. I walk with the Lord, and even my shadow is blessed. And I'm a wrong way, Christ, and low when I get blessed.